Welcome to Sarsa Swedet John Brisco. Teacher Rose, Teacher Esgreen, Teacher Joanne, and Teacher Joyce welcomes you to your online lessons. Science Learning by Doing Magnets Hi boys and girls, it's me again, Teacher Joanne from KG1-1 and I will be your science teacher for today. Are you ready to do some learning by doing? Great! Let's do this! Before we begin our experiment, let's prepare the following materials. Magnets. Or you can use any type of magnets for this experiment. Next, repeat after me. Cube. Double clip. Cork. Keychain. Leaf. Toy keys, bolts and nuts are like a screw. Rubber balls, tin lids, and two pieces of paper. And you can use anything that you want. You can gather any materials that you can use for this experiment. Before we do our experiment, let me introduce our vocabularies for today. Number one is magnet. Repeat after me. Magnet. Now, let's spell the word. M-A-G-N-E-T. Magnet. Very good. For our second vocabulary, it's called magnetic. Can you say magnetic? Great job. Magnetic means is that the object is attracted to magnet. For example, we have iron, metal, and bronze. For our last vocabulary, is called non-magnetic. Can you repeat after me? Non-magnetic. Good job. So non-magnetic means is that the object is not attracted to magnets. Like paper, glass, plastic, rubber, and wood. Let's begin our experiment by preparing our two papers. The first paper we will write magnetic. The second paper we will write non-magnetic. Very good! You can always ask your mom and your dad to help you out. Are you ready? Let's do this! Now, I have a bowl here with random things that I picked up in my house. So you can also do the same thing. You can ask your mom and dad to collect things from your house so we can test it with our magnets. Now I am going to use my fridge magnet. Remember our two papers? We wrote non-magnetic and magnetic. So let's say it again. Magnetic, non-magnetic. Let's begin to test the first one. It's a cube. Let's see if it sticks to our magnet. Oops! It doesn't stick, so we put it on the paper with non-magnetic. Next one, we have the double clip. Oop. It sticks to our magnet, so it means it's magnetic. Next one is a cork. <gasps> the cork didn't stick, so it's non-magnetic. Next one, we're going to test the keychain. So the keychain has a metal. There you go. The metal sticks to the magnet. It's magnetic. Leaf. Let's see. Oh, the leaf didn't stick. So it goes to the non-magnetic paper. Next one. It's a plastic key. Ooh, it's non-magnetic. Bolt. Okay, the bolt sticks to the magnet. So it goes to magnetic paper. So this one is a knot. The knot sticks to the magnet, so it goes to magnetic. Next one is a rubber ball. It didn't stick, so it goes to non-magnetic paper. The last one, we had the tin lid. It sticks to our magnet, so it's magnetic. That's the end of our experiment. Please don't forget to do your worksheet. I will be seeing all of you again in our next lesson. Bye!